Good morning, good afternoon and good evening to you all wherever you are in the world. My name is Nick Ferrand and these are my Italian one-take property tours. Well, I'm good to be back and I'm back because I'm back in Umbertide and Umbertide is this most amazing little village and it's just, I mean, look at it. I mean, today we are doing something because you've asked for this. And what it is, it's an apartment. Ciao, bye, vieni. <laughs> Grazie. And it's an apartment on the first floor. Grazie mille. It's an apartment on the first floor um, of what is the Cento Storico, which is basically the old town of Umberto Day. And as you can see, <laughs> it's, it's in a city, in a city Italian style. And that's what I love about it. And it is an apartment on the first floor of 55 square meters, because I thought, why not? <laughs> Why not? Are you ready? Hey, Nick. Hello. How you doing? I'm all right. I'm, I thought I heard of somebody in your voice. I'm shooting a video. Cool. <laughs> I'm going to put my... How are you doing? Pretty good. This is my apartment. I've been here for about a year and a half. And do you like it here? Yeah, I do. Well, it's a beautiful place to live. Yeah, yeah, it is. Right next to the Rocca. So it's, uh, it is fantastic across from the theater. Yeah. It's, uh, it's quite beautiful. I get to walk everywhere. So. Yeah, well, that's the whole thing about being in the middle of town. Absolutely. I'm going to put you on my video. Yes, absolutely. <laughs> Thank you, Jay City. Nice, Are you okay? Nice seeing you. Take care. Buona serata. Grazie. If you, uh, if, if you want to come up, where are you? I'm right in the middle. I'm, okay. I'm filming you as we speak. <laughs> Okay, so here we go. That was Jason, and he's a very accomplished American painter. And he lives next door. Now, first thing I would want to say to you, apart from the crying child, is that, yes, I know, they are beautiful. And that is absolutely fantastic. Come on, let's, let's get inside and, and get on with it. Now, I've got to find the light first of all, because it's going to be a bit dark and there's going to be some camera adjusting today. That's all I can say. Oh. <laughs> and some focus adjusting. Come on, focus, focus, focus. Look at the tread. Now, I know this is a communal area, um, but the tread is absolutely beautiful as we come up the stairs and, you know, just to the next, just to the left of me, um, there is basically, you know, next to the cactus, the exposed original brickwork. And, oh look, and a beam as we come down. And, you know, it's, 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 what, it's what you see, it's, it's just gorgeous. And as we pull around, now the light is a bit orange. Um, and as I come around here, you can see that somebody's put some little antiques. Now that looks like something from a wrench or something to pull up water. And I'm just gonna pull around here so we can get to the uh, first floor and we go round. Now the roads um, are very narrow. There's um, very limited car access. And in fact, to be honest with you, I think you probably don't want to bring your car down here at all. Um, Right now, this is the door to go into the apartment. And as you can see, that is a new door, which is a security door. And somebody asked me about those today and I'm going to show you in a minute. You see here, you see, let me see if I can show you. Now that has basically steel that comes out and then I can get my fingers in there and locks top to bottom. So they're pretty safe. Now, the owner of this apartment is renting at the moment, and there is a cat. So I have to make sure that the cat doesn't go out. But you open the front door and you immediately come into a open plan kitchen. Now, as I said to you, this house is being rented. And so therefore, there will be stuff. Wooden floors. If I lift up, you've got original beams, terracotta, ceiling tiles, and they are lovely, actually. Totally original. And it's really great to see an extractor fan. 
and not a lot of people have those and I think that's fantastic. Now you've got an L-shaped fitted kitchen and a cooker and a microwave, a single sink and I will guarantee you, I hope, <laughs> that right here is a fridge. Absolutely. And below, there will be the freezer. Really nice flooring throughout. And then if we push forward, we're going to go into a corridor. Now, this apartment is 55, approximately 55 square meters. And as I mentioned to you, it's a one bedroom apartment. So there is a wall. And if I rotate the camera, we will go into the bedroom. And if I lift up and pull back to give you the return. And as I come up, you will see that Basically that wall doesn't go all the way to the top of the ceiling. And then there's a window, which is, um, if you looked out, you're looking along the original small alleyway, which leads into the a square at the back. Now, coming backwards, because I know that you've probably already said, where's the wardrobe? And just as I pull back, There is a huge, huge closet. Absolutely fantastic. And a light. <laughs> and then just to the right of me, we come round and I think what we're going to do is we're going to push the camera outside. I'm going to open this window here and then you can see if I can open that window. Can I open the window? Yeah, and then if I push the camera out, uh, you can see the small square at the back with other apartments in the area. And it really is, you know, that you basically are living in 16th century Italy. Uh, it really is fantastic. Double glazing on the windows. Oh, got a bit of a wobble with the camera there for a second. And then a jolly nice shower. It's got the clothes well in it at the moment. And then a mosaic tiles. tiles. Um, and, you know, a glass door. And then if I come around again, there is quite a funky, funky sink with a glass top. and a toilet and bidet. And that's interesting as well, because that is a glass door. Yeah. I know, I know it's not huge. I know, but it is absolutely perfect for your little space in Italy. Right. Come on, let's put the camera down and uh, I'm going to give you a bit more information. Right. The lady who's uh, renting this apartment said to me as she gave me the keys, uh, look after the cat. <laughs> and I can't find it, but I'm sure it's here. But I don't want to spend my evening looking for the cat, but I'm sure it's gone somewhere. Now, 55 square meters in the middle of a Centro Storica in Umberto Day in uh, Umbria. Absolutely fantastic. First floor, walk out, go to the restaurant in the evening, hang out at the bars, 80,000 euros to include everything minus the person who is living here's personal effects. I just think it's an interesting proposition. 
I am going to go to Chianti next week and the following week I'm going to go up to Lake Como. Now, if you would like me to film something or if you have an idea or if you have a price bracket and you want me to actually film something so you understand what within your price bracket you can buy in Italy at this moment in time, just send me a comment. Thank you. My name is Nick Ferrand and these are my Italian one take property tours for those of you who have subscribed to this channel. I can't thank you enough. And for those of you who have not subscribed to this channel, would you be so kind and just push those buttons and that would help me so I can help you. Until the next one, I'll see you very soon. Thank you so much. Bye bye.